If they get up and criticize science, nobody's going to know what they're talking about. But if they get up and really aim their bullets at Tony Fauci, well, people could recognize there's a person there. So it's easy to criticize. But they're really criticizing science because I represent science. So if you are trying to, do, you know, get at me as a public health official and a scientist, you're really attacking not only Dr. Anthony Fauci, you're attacking science. I'm the bad guy to an entire subset of people because I represent something that is uncomfortable for them. It's called the truth. She's had the flu for 14 days. Should she get a flu shot? Well, no, if she got the flu for 14 days, she's as protected as anybody can be because the best vaccination is to get infected yourself. And so she if, not she get it? if she really has the flu, if she really has the flu, she definitely doesn't need a flu vaccine. Next, if she really has the flu, she right. should not get it again. No, she day. doesn't need it because the, it, it's the be, it's the most potent vaccination is getting infected yourself. When people are vaccinated, they can feel safe that they are not going to get infected. Dr. Fauci says he has COVID again for the second time in two weeks. I started to feel really poorly, much worse than in the first go around. If you've done the right thing and gotten vaccinated, you deserve the freedom to be safe from COVID-19. This morning, I learned I tested positive for COVID-19 as well. You're okay. You're not going to you're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Hey folks, guess you heard this morning I tested positive for COVID. Taking the vaccine, we can get herd immunity, then you'll just stop the 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 exponential spread. Billionaire Microsoft founder Bill Gates has tested positive for COVID-19 despite being fully vaccinated and boosted against the disease. COVID is the villain here unless everyone is vaccinated. Well, like virtually everyone in Washington, Nancy Pelosi has taken innumerable shots at the coronavax because she's a good person, unlike you. And yet, and this is kind of a bewildering fact for those of us who believe in science. Pelosi announced today that she's tested positive for Rona anyway. How does that work? Uh, I, I'm fully vaccinated. It gives me some comfort. COVID has derailed opposition leader Anthony Albanese's campaign, something his Labour colleagues have called inevitable. What I didn't expect was to feel quite so overwhelmed. In fact, uh, it's a little embarrassing. I shed a tear because I finally saw that we had something now in New Zealand that could keep everyone safe from COVID-19. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has tested positive for COVID-19. I want to take this opportunity to remind Canadians to please get vaccinated. The most important thing is that you get vaccinated and not just for yourself, but for people around you. And I believe that I'm an example of why it's important to get vaccinated and boosted. Get vaccinated. To truly achieve herd immunity, is going to take through the summer and potentially even into the fall. That's getting, you know, 80, 70, 80 percent of Americans immunized. I want to get your take on a lot of people looking at the president now having this and all these people who have been fully vax vaccinated and, and boosted and all that, and they're getting it. The 20 percent or so of Americans who've not been vaccinated might look at that doctor and say, well, why bother? Why bother? What do you what do you tell them? Well, if you're across the South um, and you're in the middle of this wave, what's going to save you right now is Paxlovid. But once we get through this wave during that law, you should get vaccinated and boosted because we do believe it will protect you, particularly if you're over 70. I knew these vaccines were not going to protect against infection. And I think we overplayed the vaccines and it made people then worry that it's not going to protect against severe disease and hospitalization. It will. But let's be very clear. 50% of the people who died from the Omicron surge were older, vaccinated. 